3.25 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. One of the stocks that we're going to feature is Yelp. Again, one of the things that we want to make clear, there is 11.5% ownership by BlackRock. And JP Morgan is behind this move. One of the things that we would clearly like to break is that we started in calendar January of the first trading day. We start out here and we have an ascending breakout. So one, two, three, four, five days straight up. This was the best move that Yelp has made since it's been a publicly traded company in a short time breakout. In our view, you have the 10-day rising above the 20-day simple moving averages and whatnot. And yes, you had a pullback to support here. And then today, we came right back in Yelp. And I'm just going to blow this side of it up. And it looks just like this. So when you get that huge breakout, one, two, three, four, five, you get a pullback to support. And then this daily bar for today was the following. Once they make that kind of move, we can say uh, that that is how you would get breakouts. And that Yelp today traded on the low. It had a $5.23 range and ended up 5.56. So every one of these support levels have had great ranges. The today ranges have expanded in value compared to other ones. We close at 75.84. We drop down to 76.34 and then we go right up to the highs of 81.57. We didn't break above the previous day's highs such as this high over here. And this high here was 82.49 and the reversal high was 82.08 to the low of uh, yesterday, we closed, but the low was 75.27. That was a good reversal, and it came right back. So these are breakout stocks in play. Until the trend changes, then we will remain to buy Yelp at key support levels. So when we show you the history over here, back in calendar 2013, we can go all the way right up here to these tops. Okay, and you can clearly see that Yelp has a trading pattern to it. Doesn't matter what the price range is, it means that the price ranges on breakouts, except for gaps on earnings, and then just you know, going that this breakout to start the year is definitely going in the right direction. Let us not forget though the fundamentals, they will have to be solid, otherwise. This will drop, and it's made a wonderful move to the high side. We know who the institutional ownership is. We also know that we're less than a dollar away from making another 52-week high. It will be on our buy alert again tomorrow, and we will see what tomorrow does because basically we have one, two, three, four, five days. Since we broke out higher, in the last five days, we're in a topping pattern right here. We're going to look for stronger volumes through the 52-week high right here on two to three times normal average daily volume. Once again, Yelp is on a rip. And Yelp will have certain trading ranges throughout 2014. And this is where it is. And it's one of the better looking breakouts. It sold off with the market yesterday, but then so did a lot of names. Okay, and then buyers step right back in. 